Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with projected wheat, double crop soybean profitability in 2023. This projected profitability is based on our 2023 crop budgets, which were released in August. And for Southern Illinois, we are projecting that operator and land returns for the combination of wheat, double crop soybeans has a $251 return. That $251 return is $81 higher than standalone soybeans for 2023. That obviously makes wheat double crop soybeans more profitable than soybeans, but it's important to note that 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 profitability advantage is down from $205 when we estimated this for the first time in March of this year. That advantage is large and is occurring because of the Ukraine-Russia conflict and the large amount of wheat produced by the Ukraine. From March till now, we have lowered the wheat price from $8.50 in March to $7.50 when we put out our August 2023 budgets. That $7.50 price is near bids for summer delivery in 2023. Given that we've seen that price come down, we have seen the advantage for wheat come down as well. The $81 advantage for wheat double crop soybeans is high, particularly when you compare it to the advantage from 2003 to 2021. During that period, wheat double crop soybeans averaged a minus two advantage over soybeans, or soybeans had a $2 more profit than wheat double crop soybeans. So $81 is a large amount. It isn't as large as the amount that we're projecting for 2022, $391 per acre. That large advantage in 2022 is occurring because of very high wheat prices, as well as generally good yields of wheat across southern Illinois. When we turn to central Illinois, high productivity land, We are projecting an operator and land return for wheat double crop soybeans of $410 per acre. That is $26 higher than soybeans after corn or standalone soybeans. The advantage in central Illinois is much lower than in southern Illinois for wheat double crop soybeans. Farmers in central Illinois still may be considering wheat double crop soybeans. However, we have a number of considerations. Wheat double crop soybeans does require management, and in particular, we've seen wheat intensify in its managed practices over time. Fungicides are now regularly used, and wheat in that rotation needs to be harvested early to get double crop soybeans in in a timely fashion. As with any new practice, there is a learning curve, and that would cause us to think that if we're considering wheat double crop soybeans, we are thinking of it more than a one-year context. We may be doing it in a more than one-year context because the environmental benefits and rotational benefits associated with wheat double crop soybeans. For 2023 also, RMA will be making crop insurance available for those counties that don't have a uh, double crop soybean practice, and most likely that will be through a standardized written agreement. All of those things need to be considered if we're thinking about growing wheat in central Illinois. If we're thinking about expanding wheat production for this coming year, one of the items that we might suggest strongly is pricing some of that wheat. Wheat is at a high prices now, and if we're planting more wheat and thinking about doing double crop soybeans on that, then we should probably price more of that wheat. The other thing that may be occurring is that wheat acres may expand and that could drive wheat prices down in the future. You can read more about this in the Farm Doc Daily, linked in the video description.